70 days, um, 20 hours and 18 minutes, uh, it seemed to go like a flash. There were so many different things there. The wildlife was astonishing. Whales, dolphins, porpoise, sharks, uh, mahi mahi, marlin. The night sky is absolutely phenomenal. Rowing in the moonlight, the stars just incredible. You couldn't even experience anything like it. The end coming in English Harbour is, is absolutely fabulous. The fact that we came in during the night just added to the experience because they were setting the flares off. The ships were playing, we are the champions as you came into the harbour. And the full experience is, is, is just tremendous. And the fact that you've done it after 70 days when you enter it, it just sort of adds to the, to the full experience. The last five hours or so were, were probably some of the hairiest in the race. But as Gary just said before, um, going into English Harbour at night, in the middle of the night, is something you, you couldn't even replicate. It's just astonishing. You've been out there 70 days, 20 hours and 18 minutes. It's impregnated in my brain. <laughs> but those final few minutes, it, you, you just couldn't buy it. It's priceless. From my perspective, I really missed my family. And when you knew they were there waiting for you in English Harbour, it was a motivation to, to row as hard as you can. As part of our training, uh, we did a number of walks uh, around the, the lakes and on one particular walk, we observed the, the helicopter coming in to take an individual off the hills. And it was just at the time where we were looking at charities that we thought we could make a difference with. And the air ambulance was a little charity that was totally funded through charity payments and we just thought the ethos of the staff that worked in it matched ours. We're super grateful to everybody that, uh, that donated. We really are blown away by the donations and potentially everybody that's donated has helped to save somebody's life and that means so much to us.